Okay, so we're gonna give these heifers a run through. I think these three heifers will be able to run through here. They're yearling heifers. Only one of them's actually been through here before, the one we raised, Quap, little Quapa. But what I'm gonna do is go ahead and open these up and we're just gonna do an actual run through here. Webs. We're just gonna have it completely open and just run them through the whole thing. Not even stop, squeeze them or anything. I just want to see how the tub works to make sure it's good before we actually do the whole thing. So I'm gonna open all this up real quick. Hard to do that with a camera. So they can run right through there and um, we'll put them right back to where they came from. So I think I'm just gonna run these three yearling heifers through there. They're pretty calm and I think they uh, should be relatively easy to run through. I could say that and it could go completely wrong. So we'll see. Let's give it a go. See how this tub works. I got two of them to run through there, so that's kind of how the process works. Let me let, let these females out. Well, there you have it. That is uh, how the tub works. Um, <laughs> it's kind of difficult when you're by yourself, I'll just tell you that, um, and most of you probably already know that. But uh, got just ran those two in there. Matter of fact, those two that ran through were the two that I've never been through there before. Little Quapaw, she just didn't want to go through because... Uh, the boss of this little group is in there with her and uh i think she was uh trying to stay out of her way so um anyways but uh i sorry about the drone guys i thought i had it on tracking and thought i had it set correctly after a couple of minutes it decided to do its own thing and just go back home um, which is where my truck is so uh but that gives you an idea of how this works and operates and with more people, it should go a lot better. Um, you know, obviously hiding behind the gate when it's open. But just a couple of things I want you to notice on this. Let me go over some detail with you about this crowding tub. So anytime I want to release or anytime that you push it, it's going to go. And that's the last stop right there, which I had one in the corner, but I had to let them back in the tub, you noticed, and then get them turned around and go back out. So if I want to release it like I did, you just push the gate in, pull this out, 
and now it stops again. If we want to come all the way back out, we're going to pull it, and now we'll open up the whole thing. So, how's this cornerless thing work? You notice there's a gap right in here. So, here's our attachment, custom made, like I said again. But how this will go is push it, and here's how this cornerless part works. It gets smaller and smaller while this is locking every time it goes around. So now we want them to go down that lane. And so this is what's left. Obviously an empty space. You've got your brake put on right there. And now you've got bison probably right here, hopefully facing this way. Another thing is if you want to load out. Got the trailer sitting over there. It's got a sliding gate with bison. It's very important to have sliding gates. It's much safer and a lot easier loading and unloading. So I'll pull right here, open up the sliding gate, and then this door will be setting right here. I can't reach it right now, but this door opens and hinges right here. It swings open. And then when you want to load them, the gate, you'll have the gate open. They'll run through and they'll be able to go right through this area here into your trailer for loadout because this gate will be blocking right here. So that is how it works. Oh, yeah. Works pretty good just by myself. So by myself, it's not the safest way to do it, but I really wanted to show you guys before we actually worked our bison. That gives you an idea of how this works. Um, it may be a little loud and whatnot, and the noises that you're hearing is a lot of the sheet metal. That looks like it's a 14 gauge sheet metal, maybe 16 gauge, uh, but this is what keeps their vision down low and in between. Uh, Big Joe, he may be one of the ones that can see up a little bit higher, but he's not getting out of this. So that's kind of how this works. Um, and uh, you can go buy some fancy ones, some really expensive ones um, that are made by some big manufacturing companies, but um, we had to get ours custom made just to fit this area that we already had um, so i think one of the most challenging things of working them will be right here in our big alley this is our big alley this panel's got to come out but in this alley got to have a person right back there where i was and then you got to have a person running them and you got to be careful in this area right here because it can get kind of dangerous and what I like to call a little hairy sometimes um, being in here. But now I have to be careful because we have this rubber on the sidewalls here. You got to be able to get out in case and you got to be able to step somewhere. Well, now there's rubber there. So we may have to cut some holes in the rubber just so in case there's an emergency, somebody needs to get out of this area, this big alley here. You can put your foot through and jump over if you need to. So hopefully that doesn't happen. But went pretty well. You got to see what the tub is supposed to do. But uh, one of the things that I'm a little worried about is we need another gate right here is what we need. We need a gate where you can come right through here and actually shut them off. So that's kind of one of the only things I'm worried about a little bit. But hopefully it goes well and... Uh, what I'll say, always, hopefully it goes well. <laughs> you never know when you work these animals how it's going to go. So one of the things I wanted to mention <laughs> about this area, I I've seen this at, at Addington Farm, at the Addington Buffalo Company out in Lubbock, West Texas. You can go back and watch that video. And in Holdenville, his herd, he's got two herds. You can go back and watch that video. But one thing that he did, and I loved it, and I thought it was it went it was awesome tool but if you got a skid steer you can take a skid steer and you can put a big panel on the front of it basically and almost just push those bison this would be a perfect spot for it right here would be to have that skid steer you've got your cage on the front maybe that's what it's called a cage that sounds cooler 
you put a cage on the front of it and you just drive and you keep the bison out in front of you and uh you're in the cab nice and safe and everybody's out of the way and you just drive them up to where the tub is and then from there you basically stop you shut the gate and that takes one person doing that and one person driving so it's really not a bad deal at all i saw them do that out there and i thought it was awesome uh, it was safe and it was relatively easy and you didn't have to get in the pen with the bison that was the main part which is is nice especially when you consider how your wife feels about you being in the pen while you're working bison i get it <laughs> i get it uh so i'm sure she supports me getting a skid steer um or needing a skid steer so yes we need a skid steer because we could do that right here you could do that here of course you can do uh, so many things with a skid steer so Yes, I need to find a skid steer, and I think that would work great right here, um, especially. So, if you guys know, I'm looking for a used skid steer. I'm just looking for a used skid steer. You got a farm, you just need something. That big green tractor that I always use, that's our neighbor's, Larry Muck. He's a great neighbor, and uh, we use that big tractor to put out. We use Larry's tractor a lot. That little orange one that you saw me use in a couple previous videos, that is a my cabins tractor that we use at our cabins at Rocky Point cabins. Um, but it's just not quite big enough to carry the load. It, it won't even, can't even put a hay spike on the front of that thing. So yes, I need a skid steer and I'm looking for a used skid steer to try to get one before the end of the year. So if you guys know of any used skid steers for sale out there, not, uh, not looking for any brand in particular, just looking for a good used that skid steer so you guys let me know what you think hey guys well that's it thank you for watching thank you for watching this entire process chiseling the concrete away so we could get the tub set in the exact place we want it um setting pipe getting the gate in all those things and i mean it's it's been a lot of work for sure and uh Thank you guys for being a part of this because uh, everything that we do, we try to keep the animals safe and we try to keep the people safe that work them. And uh, we just want things to go smoothly. And I think the tub will be uh, a very big benefactor in this situation. And uh, we'll see what other kind of changes we need to make. But like I said, I think we may have to put a gate here somewhere just to cut them off. So this is such a big alley. We got a box here, box there, and then into the tub. All right, guys, hopefully uh, everything is ready to rock. So stay tuned for the bison working of the fall 2021. Thank you, guys.